Alright, hello Tank Baby. Hello Sawyer, hello Zeb. How are you guys doing today? So we are at, what was it, 90... Two or three? I can't even remember, to be honest. Alright, we had to go to Wawweep. Wawweep had the most amount of stuff. We had a couple in Sonoran, I think. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's bring out the forest. Again, this has the metal detector. And the seismic. I don't think we need that, but... In case we have any missions, which we do, I guess it should open them up. And I think we'll go with the normal three here, because it, it looked like we had most of the missions open when we had those three yesterday, so we'll go with those. And now we'll just throw some stuff in our trucks. I keep forgetting I can just tap RB and do that, but... Hello, Robert. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good, Robert. I think I need two of this one, actually. Alright, let's go. This is... Is this Wowie Bay? Doesn't say. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. I think this is the one we had the most stuff to do. Hello, Claude. Are you doing well? Awesome. So I did check out your uh, your picture there again with the fish. I I think mine's I think mine's broken. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We can track this one. Where is this? Oh, that's Sonoran. I'm not not watching what I'm doing here. Okay. Is this one here? Find an oasis. That one doesn't look like it's here. Yeah, Sonoran. 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 So we, a lot of these ones are Sonoran. That one I can't track, so that one I must not have the right people for. Okay. <coughs> Find... That's not good. One, two, three, four, five cargo. Let me... Shut this one off. Switch trucks here. Okay, change to the force, and then we'll go... If we have to have five slots worth, probably should go... Yeah, I probably should go up here. North outpost. Let's get rid of... All those, so we have five open slots, and... There we go. Was there an update today? <coughs> uh, I have my game on auto update, so I don't think so. I didn't check before I started streaming. Was there supposed to be something? How does this seem... Oh, weird. My volume got changed back. That is weird. There we go. There might have been an update, but it's weird my volume changed. Hmm, probably should go north. Hello Isaiah. Welcome in. So yeah, there... Wait, actually it's got the... It's got this KSIVA on the bottom as well, which I turned that off, so there might have been an update. You might be right on that. Oh no, the back is catching with that big old bar. Huh. <laughs> we really got stuck right off the bat. 
let's try and pull it to the side. There we go. Almost. All right. Oh, almost. They should really have a better way of getting down off this, uh, this base. Might have been a settings update. Yeah, it could have been something small. My game, like I said, I have, like, have it on auto update, so it could have updated and I'd have no idea, but it does look like some stuff changed, so. Public beta branch on Steam is live, I think. Oh, really? They have the uh, public test server up now? They said they were going to add it for both Steam and Epic for uh, Expeditions. Yeah, that's fine, Isaiah. Taking the fast route down. Ain't nobody got time for going around that hill like six times. If you look at... If you look at this, you have to go down here, all the way around... All the way around... To there. That would have taken us like 10 minutes. 15 minutes. And I ain't got time for that. At least not until they like... Make a hard mode or something to where it's... Right now it's not uh... Not, like I said, not worth my time. For now, I just buy buy jack screws. Anchor, yeah, anchor doesn't work so well with this big of a truck. Actually, I think the anchor is supposed to have like a weight limit to it. Now that I think about it. All right, let's go to the right. Yeah, the anchor is only supposed to be able to support a certain amount. I didn't even think about that. I just remember seeing it on the uh, trailers for the game. But yeah, I think we are, let me check, 90, 93%. So if we're lucky, we should be able to get to 100%, uh, or at least 98 or 99 probably. I would think 99. We might miss an upgrade or something small, because I think we are still missing an upgrade or two. Oh wait, that's not the way to go. So if we can get to 99 and have like one or two upgrades to hunt, that's fine, I'll just find them. Hopefully later, I'll probably have to like, re like rediscover the entire maps though. Just because I used, I didn't have the radar, I used just like driving around to scout out the first, you know, however many maps. And then I finally got the radar unit. And that one discovers them right away. Whereas if you drive, you have to drive right next to them. Isaiah, are you still thinking about getting this game? I know you're talking about it for a while. Can I go down somewhere here? There's like no routes down. That's only going up. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe. Might be able to go down right here, I guess. It kind of looks like it sort of would. Like right here, right off the edge. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. I 
There we go. Oh no. Get used to thinking about it. Nice. Yeah, I mean it's taken me quite a few, quite a few hours, and I'm still not at 100 percent. And you've seen how I'm driving. I'm driving off the cliff edges and stuff, trying to save some time. So, if you were to drive and use anchor points and actually stuff you're supposed to, it'd take you a lot longer. Or just drive all the way around the cliff like six times. It's only once, but it takes forever up there. Oh, so I unpacked all the crap in this truck thinking that I needed to, because it had five five cargo zones or whatever. And it looks like there's only one equipment. There's only one one of those five that actually has something at it. Hello, Zing. How are you doing today, Zing? We're hoping to get to 100% uh, on this region. I think, well, actually, I think there might have been an update for the game. I didn't check, but I think there might have been. Might have been something minor, but maybe the fish work now. Because I don't think my fish are working. Let's see, those are all on the other side, other bank of the river. Okay, I gotta go back north. Not too bad, kind of a wild weekend, really. Keeping me entertained while I wait for uh, an email, yeah. I haven't checked them yet this morning, but I don't think they're, I mean, you know the drill, there's probably nothing there. All right, let's go left here. Your wife's mom had to be evacuated from her home due to a fire that was headed her way. Where does she live, Zing? Or like what state? I don't know of any fires around here, so I feel like it's got to be at least a few states away, probably. Oh, it's northern Wisconsin, okay. I haven't heard about any fires. Is that in the UP? Wait, no, that'd be Michigan, never mind. I, for some reason, I, th I think sometimes that's connected to Wisconsin, so it's Wisconsin. Like, how would it be the UP? Oh, whoops. Um... As soon as I said it, I'm like, well, that was dumb. You've seen something on YouTube about it, okay. <laughs> you guys want to know something funny? I just, well, not funny, but something that I saw in my recommended right before I started streaming today. There was a, uh, a, a heist of a, not a bank, but like a, a money holding facility, I think they called it. It was in Los Angeles on Easter Day. These people walked out with $30 million. How did I not hear about that earlier? Like, what? Oh, dang, that's in a hard spot. I think I'm going to go all the way around and go that way. Yeah, they walked out with $30 million, apparently. They cut a hole into the roof dodged all the security systems so they prob probably it had to be an inside job if they knew which cameras to dodge and where to where to not go and where to go I gotta go this way what's up here anchors okay I might go get that and then um, they they cut a hole into the roof of the vault and then they cut a hole out the back of the building. 30 million dollars, yeah. And they said if it was in $100 bills, it would have weighed almost 700 pounds. And then they said if it was if it was all the way down to ones, it would have been like s almost 70,000, I believe. I was like, Jesus Christ. Of course it's not $1 bills, but what the heck? 
Yeah, I'm definitely not going over to that. That's too far away. Did I... How am I stuck? Oh, the tree? Oh no, my back bumper thing again. Somebody thought it was okay to burn in a high risk. Literally started the lakeshore on fire. Wow. Yeah, some people are so dumb. They're like, hey, it's a level 5 fire risk. Don't, don't be starting any fires. And they're like, oh, it's fine. It's windy and dry. No worries. And then it gets out of hand. And those are the type of people who have like a big bonfire too. Like, oh yeah, I got these 30 pallets I want to burn. Yeah, you think that's a good time for it? None of it was on camera either, says Tank. Uh, how was the mo how money was stolen was beyond me from lessons. Was a good mile from eight fire departments? Oh. Yikes. People protect money more than children. Right? Everybody wanna, wants to make sure their money's alright. You'll post pictures on Discord? Yeah, I haven't even heard about it. So I, I assumed it was like a couple of states away, like Illinois or something. Which I guess that would only be like two states. Over to Wisconsin and then down maybe. It's kind of dark because we're in the shadow here of the, the hills or mountains. but They do know O2 loves fire. I, I bet they probably don't know that. I feel like some of these people don't have half a brain. Like you don't even need a whole brain to know that, just a half a brain. And they don't even got that. Anti-theft protection, have all your money in one dollar bills. There you go. I guess that is one way to do it. You have to lug around basically a semi-trailer full of one dollar bills. Alright, why did I mark that? Okay, because now I gotta go this way. I'm gonna assume it's that, that top one over there, to be honest. I think it's across the river. I feel like that's the hardest one to get to. It's probably that one. But yeah, I don't know how I didn't hear about that earlier. $30 million stolen out of a, a money holding facility. I've never even heard of a money holding money holding facility before. I thought that was just banks. I didn't know they had like special buildings that they would just hold money in. But yeah, none of it was caught on camera and they I guess they're asking all of the neighbors for like basically the entire weekend um, of like footage to see if they can narrow down because they, they didn't even know when it happened. I guess now they kind of narrowed it down to they heard some what sounded like grinding on somebody's camera or something. So they think they have a time frame. I feel like that, that water's edge is too deep to follow over there. Pretty crazy story. And then they, uh, the one that I watched had like a, a, a criminal who used to rob banks, who uh, apparently did his time and got out, and he's like, yeah, we... One thing you learn in prison is how everybody else did their crimes and what got them caught. And he's like, all these criminals, all they do is become smarter in, <laughs> in prison. And I was like, you know what's funny is that's probably super true. They talk, they talk about all the mistakes that they made in their crimes and how they got caught, and everybody learns from each other. And uh, the guy was like, if you're gonna use your phone, or if you're gonna do a crime, you can't use your phone because they're gonna ping ping all the phones that were in that location at that time. And they're gonna try and ping all the phones that were there over the last couple of months, probably scoping it out and stuff too. I was like, dang, that's... I w like, that wouldn't have even popped into my head. Of course, I'm not any kind of a criminal, but... Or at least not that you guys know of. I just found it pretty interesting. I don't know when the last time somebody's stolen 
30 million dollars was, so... Ouch. There goes 130 damage. DNR got involved, so... Yeah, the guy's getting a big fine. Yikes. Was it a single guy or a group of people? Alright, let's see. Hopefully this is the one. Oh, it's not it. Come on. I thought for sure that one would be it. <laughs> There's genius everywhere. So how many how many of you guys had heard about that before this? Uh, it sounds like lessons in tank baby had. That was the first that I had heard of it, which I thought was weird because it if somebody stole 30 million dollars, I thought that would have made like public headlines everywhere, or at least most of the United States. Maybe it did, I just didn't see it, I guess. I don't really read too much of the news, but I usually see it on YouTube or something. Which is where I ended up finding it, but you heard about it a while back? Because that was what, three... Two, three weeks ago? I already forget. The fifth, I think? Yeah, about two weeks ago, I guess. Week and a half. Alright. Skip a little bit of time. Yeah, I, I guarantee one of those people worked there. Because there's no way you can dodge all those cameras without having inside information. All this cargo was destroyed. I don't think we can find anything useful. What? So, oh, so I gotta find the scientific equipment. I think I gotta drop it off there, maybe? That's what it looks like. You better be careful, man. These companies have PMCs working for them as well. PMCs is private military companies, correct? Or private military corporation or something like that. I just think PM is private military, I think. Not that one. Okay, we got two more. I probably got... It's probably the very last one. Eagle says, I heard about it. The Easter Ice Monday after, okay. So like one day later. Isaiah, did you hear about it? What W? Some say it's Kraft and yes, JJ. Oh, private military craft? Okay. You're gonna get some water, you're thirsty. Here we go. Found it, okay. Wait, now where am I bringing it? That spot's just gone. Oh, that was an airdrop. I gotta deliver the cargo there. Wow, okay. Is there a good way up over here? It looks like that's probably the best way. Back to the road. I could keep going forward. This might this might let us up, I guess. Oops, that was accidentally. What are we doing? Uh, so we had to find a cargo. It was called scientific equipment. So we had to search for five spots, I think, maybe six. Uh, we just found it. Now we got to go deliver it. It said find equipment in like five different spots. So I was like, oh crap, I need five open spots in my truck. Turns out it was one cargo, but I had to search five open spots. Uh, f five spots of possibilities, I guess. So, yeah, I... Oh, I got rid of a bunch of stuff in my truck to open up room for that, and then I didn't even need to. But this is the first thing that we're doing today. Uh, Kraft was an organization. Oh, okay. That got... Too much attention and once, or too much attention once and PMC private military contractor. Okay, thank you. 
contractor, so that's the word. I knew it was private military, or I thought it was private military something. Couldn't remember if it was company or, you know, contractor. Oh, Isaiah says contractors too. See that now? Alright, let's back this thing up. Once we get this one delivered, we can get out of this truck, which... Like I said, I, the only th reason I used it because I thought I needed five slots. And I was like, well, this one's got the most, so let's use that. I have uh, the Warthog, the AFIM, AFIM. I don't know what you're supposed to call it. Um, oh boy, this... Oh, we do have a bridge up there, okay. And what was the last one? The Warthog? Warthog, Acteon, and AFIM. Your brother was a PMC once. Lockheed Martin in the early 2000s. Nice. What did he, uh, just out of curious curiosity, I guess, what did he get paid? Like, what, is, what did they make? They had to make pretty good money, right? If you're, you get, you're putting yourself in a pretty dangerous situation, I would say. And since it's private, you're, you're making more money than probably normal, you know, military. I know about another heist that years ago at a money truck place. Wait, where do I get down here? Off to my right, okay. I forgot where exactly, but I'm pretty sure it happened in L.A. Okay. Yeah, the money truck places make sense, because... Or actually, maybe that's what this was. Maybe that's where the money trucks go. I don't know how that works, but... They called this one a money storage facility. That was the term they used, and I was like, what the heck? I never heard of that. I just thought that was banks. I thought it was just banks and banks and more banks. But yeah, I suppose they could... The, uh... The bank trucks that transfer it could be could have their own facility and maybe that's what this was is that's where they store it for a little bit or something it's crazy to think about 600 pounds of money that's what the, oh, I think it was 661 but that's in hundred dollar bills so I just think of like if I were to hold, you know, a whole bunch of money, I don't, I've never held so much money that I'm like, oh, this is heavy. In, in dollar bills anyways, you know? Even if it was one dollar bills, I've never held a stack heavy enough to be like, oh yeah, this is actually kind of heavy. So it's kind of crazy to think about. They're for cash reserves? Okay. But did they, they must hold on to it for those those uh, bank trucks, right? I'm assuming that's what that building was. I could be wrong, but it just makes sense. The Easter Heist was casino holding facility. Oh, okay. So that would make sense. Casino holding facility where the casinos store their money. See, I would have never thought about that, but I guess they have to have it somewhere, right? And the bank trucks probably go back and forth between the casino when they make money... Ooh, a big reinforced bumper. Uh, when they make money, they probably put a bunch in there and then it goes to the bank after that. Or if they need money, someone wins a big cash out, they'll have to bring the truck back to there. So that makes sense. Alright, let's do... That one's Sonoran. Sonoran. Sonoran and Can't Track. So, all the rest are here. Oh nice, this is uh, all right next to us. What is this one? Which one am I doing? Oh, visit this area. Hang on. Mark that. Visit that. And that. Oh, I probably drove right over one of them. I think I crossed that bridge coming right here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Dang it.
You have a question for me? What's up, Kevin? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I bumped my mic there for a second. Probably have a system of giving and getting money from the money place to the banks. Yeah, probably something like that. That makes that makes a lot more sense. I've just never heard of it called as a uh, money holding facility. I was like, why would? Isn't that what banks are? But yeah, if they're a, if they're a private company or whatever you want to call a casino, it would make sense that they would have their own like holding area that was not the bank, so they wouldn't have to, you know, if somebody got paid out at like three in the morning or something, like you'd want to be able to give them that money even if they won some huge bonus, you know? So that way they can get them the money at any time of the day, basically. They don't have to wait for the bank. Isaiah, why are you face palming? Don't be hitting yourself. Is that because I drove over an area that I needed? Probably should find some more fuel. If possible. If there is a... Um, oh, actually I can drone drop it, can't I? I keep forgetting I have that. If there's an uh, airdrop around here somewhere. You know why? Where do I get the TMHS tires in Unshakable Island? To be honest, Kevin, I have no idea. It's probably not the answer you're looking for, but um, this game has 205 upgrades, which is way too much for me to try and remember. But what I will say is there's a website, and I don't know if it... Because some of them... The reason it's so confusing on this game is because some things you get from expeditions, some you get from contracts, some you get from tasks, and then some you can find actually like findable in a region or something like that. That means it's on the map, but if it says a specific task, it means you have to do that task or contract or expedition for it. Oh, crap. I was... Well, I guess I can go across this and go up, right? There's only four or five type facility. Oh, really? There's only four or five in the U.S. like that? Wow. Unshakable Island, though. Um, it's like, I'm trying to remember which one Unshakable Island even is. If it's... Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, Kevin. If it's the one that I'm thinking of, because I'm not even sure if I have the right map, I get Unshakable Island and the other one. I know there's Slip Rock Swamps, and I know there's Dormant Volcano. I got those two. I know which maps those two are, but the other two I get mixed up. Unshakable Island, and what's the other one? I can't even think of the name. Mountain Labyrinths. I can't remember which one of those is which. If it's, if it's the upgrade that I am thinking of, and it's probably not, it's in the top, sort of, a little bit, like, it's a little bit to the right of the middle of the map, all the way in the top. Um, it's sort of, if you come out of the gateway and you go to the left, so go west and then north. I believe that's that's the location I have in my head. I know I got some tires there, but I don't know which tire it was. Okay, northwest corner of Unshakable Island near Small Lake. So I think I might have been wrong. I thought about doing upgrade videos on this game, Kevin, <clears throat> as far as like where to go, but if you look at, so we're, what did I say we are? We're, I don't know, call it 97%, and I'm still missing, I think four upgrades, three, three here it looks like, and then one in Carpathians, I think. Yeah, it looks like 202 out of 204, so I think I'm missing one upgrade there. So 
So it, it's kind of weird, you know, 97% done with the game and I'm still missing upgrades. Like, you, you literally have to 100% this game to have every upgrade. I don't know, it seems, at least in my mind, it seems like you should have been able to get, like, I don't know, 40 to 60% done, and then have all the upgrades to, like, finish off the last 20, 30, 60%. What will I do when I 100% the maps? Uh, well, I mean, we'll play the DLCs when they drop, or at least I plan to. But I'll probably just go back to SnowRunner, that's my plan. I kind of want to play some MudRunner as well, mix that in. But I'll, I'll probably be switching back and forth between SnowRunner and this as they drop DLCs. We'll, season 13 SnowRunner will come out, we'll go play that. Then Season 1 of this will come out, we'll go back and play that and kind of switch back and forth. But yeah, I played MudRunner once on stream and a couple of times right before that. Oh, that's not it either, come on. Oh wait, no, it's just visiting, never mind. Um, let's go... I guess we have to go right, but... Doesn't look very good to go right. Actually, it looks quite terrible. How are you supposed to get across that? But yeah, that's the plan. We'll just play play SnowRunner and play this and kind of back and forth. I'll probably hunt the rest of the upgrades, which it looks like we only have one to find in Carpathians right now. And then, uh, I don't know, hopefully we don't have too many to find here, but I'm pretty sure we'll have to find one or two. Let's see if we can sneak up the edge here. I can't believe you're not going to come over to my house, take the controller, plot the route, and or plot the route to the upgrade. Honestly, the quality of this stream, where is the service gone? The service industry has gone down the drain, Kevin. Yeah, there's there's way too many upgrades for me to remember what's what on here. But uh, thank you, Zeb, for answering that. I appreciate that, because I, I literally don't know. I get those two maps mixed up. You just got an amber alert. Uh oh. That's not good. I just. This randomly popped into my head now that you said that. Um, do you think the first person that was taken was an amber and that's why they called it an amber alert? Well, I shouldn't say the first person that got taken, but that's where it stemmed from. Some girl named Amber who got stolen. Or kidnapped, I guess. Thank you so much, everyone, and JJ, appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, Kevin. I. I I really don't know on this this game and these maps. Those are the two maps that mix me up. I know Coconino very well in Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is the first one, and then this is Wawip and Sonoran Desert. So I have I have all the maps, Little Colorado, and these ones all. The only one that gets me, or it's only two, is Unshakable Island and Mountain Labyrinth. For some reason, I get those two mixed up. So you picked one of the two that I didn't know. And then since I don't know them, I, I'm trying to think of which, uh, like which one it was. But no, I appreciate, uh, Kevin, or, uh, not Kevin, um, oh, I found a UAD tires, look at that. Appreciate Zeb for getting that for you, Kevin, is what I meant to say. Makes sense. All right. Did you see the pic I put about the fish mission on Discord? Yeah, I did, Robert. I, I commented on that right at the start of the stream. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think my fish are bugged. I could try it again today because it looks like... Let's see. I really got another one behind us. Uh, I could try it today because it, it does look like they had an update. Because, yeah, my, my KSIVA, Kisiva, reset. My sound went back up to normal, like up to 100%. So I, I think there might have been an update. Oh, thank you for that, Kevin. I, I literally had no idea. I just, he said Amber Alert, and I was like, 
I wonder if the first kid taken was an Amber, Is that if that's where the name came from. Amber Sherman, okay. I've never heard of her, but... Uh, this... How long ago is this? This must have been, like, 70s or something? How long? I'm just throwing out numbers, guys. I have no idea. Maybe even earlier than that? Later? America's Missing Broadcast Emergency Response. Oh, really? I didn't know it actually stood for something. I just assumed it was the name. Sorry, I didn't see the comment on the Discord, but... Oh, you're good, Robert. You're, you're good. I said something at the start of the stream, and I posted a comment there, but I, my, I'm pretty sure my fish are bugged. I've probably tried it about... Oh, the autocorrect changed it? Hagerman? Okay. I've probably tried that fish mission about 15 times now. And it just doesn't... They don't detect. I don't know why. So I think I'm probably just going to leave it at 99%. Until they, until they patch it, I'll probably try it a couple of times, but... I don't want to keep wasting time trying to do it every single time I, I stream, you know. I'll probably try it every time it updates. That's probably what I'll do. Every time they throw an update onto the game, I'll check it, see if it works, and then... I have not tried that tank, baby, no. Okay, let me get some fuel here. So we got two. Go down. Modules. Cargo drone. That's not going to be enough to last us there, is it? Um, let's do... that. Just in case. Oh, they were kidnapped in 1996, okay. January 13th. I don't think we're going to make this. We could go... Wait across, go down. Actually, we should probably hit this one. Uh, hang on a second. Let me read that. Uh, some more complaining about that mission where they can't see the fish. One said, "It's the field of view in third person is over a hundred. I did try the field of view. Someone mentioned that to me. Uh, one of the. Like, one of the first things I tried was the field of view. I think... Actually, what is mine right now? Um, where is that at? Video, probably, right? Yeah, mine's at 100. I think I tried it all the way up here and all the way down here. And it didn't work. But yeah, my, my fish, like, just aren't there. I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. Like, I can see them, but they're... Actually, I probably should have just drove straight off that, huh? It's fine on this side. It's the other side that gets messed up. Oh, third person. Okay, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, you know what? I don't. I haven't tried that one. I don't know why I thought first person. That could be it, actually. Because mine's at 130, I think. That, that certainly could be it. I guess we'll have to try it today. That's crazy, we dropped off 100 liters and we were burning 33 just right there, per minute. So that only bought us like three minutes of drive time. Wait, if I go up there I can pick up the jammer device and then... No idea where I have to bring it, but... I 
Let's see if I can sneak this sneak in here and grab a little extra fuel, hopefully. It doesn't matter if I have to use a couple of uh, anchor points, because this has an infinite anchor in it. Okay, let's see if we can put out one, like over here maybe? Crap. Put this from here to there. We're trying to turn the back of the truck up the hill. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's grab the fuel. I suppose I could repair our truck up the rest of the way. Okay, we're good. Um... Let's switch this one. And that one, there we go. The fish know that you're going for 100% complete the game, and they don't want you to complete it. Those darn fish. By the way, Phase 13 of SnowRunner should release this month, right? Uh, no, probably not. I wouldn't think so. I would say it's possible because it is a one-map region. So... I kept track of seasons 9 through 12, although I forget what 12 was exactly. I've said, I've said this quite a few times, but... So season 9 was 6 weeks of PTS, season 10 was 6 weeks, season 11 was 6 weeks, like almost to the day, like, you know, right on 6 weeks for all of them. And then... Wait, can I go there? It looks like I could go up that way. I should try, I guess. Um, and then season 12, I forget what it was, but I believe it was longer than six. I want to say it was like seven or eight. I'm doing good, Mandarin. How are you doing today? Let's put the infinite anchor points. Oh no, I forgot to put the parking brake on. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta get you gotta get our back angled more over a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think phase 13 could come out the end of this month. I really doubt it though. I personally think it'll come out towards the end, probably towards the middle of next month. I've been saying towards the end or even early June, but I think it's probably most likely it's the middle of the month because it is a shorter region. But I, yeah, I just wouldn't count on it coming out really early. Okay, hang on, I gotta... Gotta remember to attach to that. And then pull it out. Oops. Uh, hold B to pick it up. There we go. Doing alright? Could have been a better day, but it was alright. That sounds like pretty much everyday orange. Could be worse, could be better, but we'll take what you can get, right? Or at least that's what I do. Some of those roads over there actually look pretty decent. Like, well-traveled. Yeah, so I, I started... I started, or I got PTS partway during Season 8. So Season 8 already hit PTS. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to switch over and get it. So I switched over. I don't remember what day Season 8 came on to PTS. Um, so I, I didn't 
didn't really track 8, but then I had PTS for all of 9, 10, 11, 12, and now 13. But I was only able to keep track of, uh, what would it be, 9 through 12. So I don't remember what 7 was, I don't remember what 8 was. I didn't have it at 7, and in 8 I got partway. I got it after it already had come out. Um, so I don't know those two, but 7 would probably be the best, uh, like, judge of time. Because that was another, another one map region at the same size. But yeah, if I had to throw it like a random guess, I would probably say like another four weeks probably, maybe, th maybe three, because it's already been about a week. So I would say probably on the early side would be like four weeks. Or three weeks, sorry. That would be my guess, because that would be about two weeks, you know, 50% faster than normal. Which, if they only have one map, you know, compared to the two maps, that would make sense that it's half as, half as much time. Or, I said that backwards. Uh, four weeks, 50% higher would be six weeks, so. It would only be 33% lower from six weeks. I don't know if that makes sense, but numbers. Alright. Oh wait, this guy's, this guy's house is gone. What? Looks like he, he actually had a spaceship. He was, uh, he took off. He was an alien after all. Wait, what? Homemade radio jammer, judging by its condition, it might not even work. Stage complete. Oh, now I gotta get to there. I was just over there. God dang it. I definitely don't have the fuel to do that. Unless... I think I'll just leave the truck here, to be honest. It's almost out of fuel. I could drone drop more, I think, but... Yeah, I think we'll just switch. We'll do that. Hello, Bryce. I am doing well. How are you doing today, Bryce? I am doing well, so we'll drive around. It'll be a decent drive to go get that view, I guess, but oh well. You're doing good, thanks. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. I think we'll pull a second truck just to make it a little bit faster once we do want to switch vehicles. This one's at least out there somewhere. But it doesn't seem like it's slowing us down that much either. Kevin, did you find the upgrade? It's been a little bit. Well, I suppose I, did, I never even told you the site. I don't know if you're still in here or not. But it's it's if you go to Map Runner and you go to Resources, then External Links, then there's there's two spots for external links. You go to uh, 3D Snow Render. Oh, jeez. That's from Naked Dave. He's one of the modders. Yeah, the plan is to do hard mode um, back in Amir tomorrow, Bryce. I'm hoping to get 100% here, but even if we don't, I think if we get 98, 99, whatever, I'll probably just find the last few upgrades, because I think I'm missing one upgrade still in Carpathians. You're always here? Okay. See, I don't know if, you, uh, if you've been to Map Runner before, but if you just Google, like, 3D Snow Render, and you click on that, you can click on uh, Expeditions instead of Snow Runner, and then you click on... Um, I already forgot what map you said, but Mountain Labyrinth or Unshakable Island, and then you can click on the upgrade icons and you'll find out which one 
you can find out exactly where it is. It's actually 3D maps of it too, so you can kind of scroll around and... Jeez, there's some very loud thunder outside right now. If I happen to lose connection, guys, it lo looks like there's a storm. <laughs> it was storming earlier, I thought it was done. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Here's our uh, spot to go down. I'm trying to get the all-wheel drive on, not disconnect, but that works. Do you have to pay for the drone drop? Uh, you don't have to pay any money, but it does cost you hundred fuel. So it, the drone starts with 300 fuel and if you if you bring it out to yourself actually I'd, I could be wrong on that because I always well not always but I usually take the fuel. Hang on one second I'm gonna go check quick. This this might not make sense but let me try. So we used a hundred fuel. Let's go to this truck and see So right here is the drone. Yeah. So I think I took out 100 fuel, so it still has 200 fuel to drive out to me. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it only takes it away if you use it. So no, I think it might be free. I could be wrong on that, but I think it might be free. It just... Usually when it drives out to me, I take the fuel, so I, you can only drop it three times as long as you don't take all the fuel, I think. Uh, we are using the AFIMS-1960. It's a, it's one of the few trucks that's actually only in Expeditions, not SnowRunner as well. I think they only have three. They have the Collie Pug, the S1960, and the Kotko Canyon. I think that's part of the reason a lot of people are kind of upset about Expeditions, is that they, they basically ripped off all the vehicles from SnowRunner. Which makes a lot of sense from a business perspective, you know, you already have the vehicles made, you already have the licenses for them and stuff like that, so it's, or you, I shouldn't say the licenses, but you, you have them in a different game, so it's probably easier and cheaper to license them from that same company, you know? That is, if they are licensed anyways. Uh, but if they're not, you know, you already have the assets kind of, kind of made, so, like, it just makes sense that they would do that to save money, but, I don't know. It's kind of cool that they have the same vehicles, like, you know, from, uh, as an example, like, Grand Theft Auto 3 to 4 to 5, like, they have some of the same vehicles. But at the same time, it's, like, kind of cheesy, like, oh, you guys used 16 of, or 17 of the same 20 vehicles, like... You know, you gotta have, you gotta put in some more variety. Like, you can bring some other vehicles, but you should include a lot more new ones, I think. Oh. Bye, JJ. Have a good rest of your day. Alright, sounds good. Thank you, Bryce. You as well. Thanks for stopping in. And probably see you tomorrow, it sounds like. Um, hello, Ian. How are you doing today? Or tonight, I should say. Because you're... I think you said you're Australian, so it's probably pretty late there. Heck, it might even be morning, I don't know. GTA, GTA remastered the vehicles, though. Yeah, I was just saying, like, as a... Like, you know, it, it's, it, I guess it can work if you put the same vehicles in, is kind of what I was getting at. But... Yeah, you have to you have to do it right is kind of 
what I was getting at. Like, if you're just going to copy and paste the vehicles, then, you know, then it's not cool. Because then you're, you're basically just saving yourself money and time, and then we get the same, same exact, like, product, you know? So why should we pay extra for that same exact product? Alright. They also, this with the SE versions, yeah, that's true. I don't count the SE versions, though. The SE versions are basically the exact same truck with more fuel, more power. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, yikes. That is super, uber, super duper early. I shouldn't say super duper, but... Turn on engine if winched vehicle. Turn on engine of winched vehicle. Yeah, at the back. I'm trying to trying to conserve a little bit on some fuel. We gotta go... Hang on, I'm gonna delete this. Let's go this way, it looks like. Follow that path all the way across. And then once we get over here... Oh, it looks like there's a climb right up there. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to leave that vehicle off, Kevin, to sort of keep some fuel. Actually, I probably could detach at this point. I was just trying to bring that truck out more towards the middle, and that's definitely towards the middle, so we can let off of it now. You have three tasks left on SnowRunner Season 13. Very nice. That's the pro strat. Yeah, trying to conserve a little bit on fuel. It didn't seem to slow me down too much. In SnowRunner, they seem to slow you down a lot more. Like, dragging a vehicle around in SnowRunner seems like it, it really hurts your fuel economy and your speed, but it didn't seem to affect it all that much on here. It, it probably does, but it didn't seem like it when I was using it, so... It probably depends on the truck you're, you're pulling with. Well, what truck you're pulling and what truck you're pulling with. Because we're... We're definitely going faster now. But it didn't seem like it was too slow when I was doing it earlier, so... I just thought about this. I wonder if there's any airdrops on the way, because we haven't seen any yet. What'd you guys think of the thumbnail? That was in yesterday's video. That was pretty funny. Driving full speed off that cliff. It was a like a perfect cliff for, for pictures because a lot of the cliffs there's like a sort of a plateau below you and you'll crash into that and then another plateau and then another one. That one was like a big overhang. So it was like as soon as you drive off that thing you're falling all the way. Let's see, who, who thinks we, we are going to be able to complete this all today? I'm looking at the time. We've already spent an hour. I think we've only done one thing, almost two. I don't think we're going to be able to complete it all. Oh, 
Unless somebody's wanting to speed up here, which I don't know, maybe they will, but... Alright, here's the climb right here. Uh, what, sh what three tasks do you have left to do, Ian? You're not sure. If I had to venture, I would say no. Because I think we left one upgrade in Carpathians. We still have the fish in Carpathians. I don't... I'll try it probably later. Well, maybe at the end of the stream, or maybe... Maybe I won't, I don't know. I'll probably try it after the stream if I don't do it on stream. And I'll probably have to hunt that upgrade down off stream just because I don't know. It's going to take, it probably take me like two hours just to find out which upgrade it is. I'll have to search through all the vehicles, figure out which one doesn't have an upgrade. And we might be missing multiple upgrades if we miss anything here. Oh, I, oh, you got to be kidding me. I have the jammer up in that truck. Wait, now it, it... What? Somebody's watching me. The government put some strange towers next to me. They're definitely shadowing me. I have designed a device that will jam their signals, confuse them, and I'd like you to arrange them. Do not follow? Did I just complete that one? Start tracking. Okay, so yeah, I have it I have it here in my truck, the jammer. I think I'm gonna have to drive it off the edge or something to get down there. I'm trying to think. Best case scenario would probably be to land on this and then drive across. Cause yeah, I have to drive across this bridge or this way, but this way doesn't look very good, so it looks like you have to go around. Oh boy. Alright, that was a pretty good landing. I'll take that. Found a new climb out of it as well. That was actually a perfect, perfect landing. You'll check? Okay. Actually, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and go around these trees to the left and then take a right and go down into that pit and that's probably where we'll run out of fuel. So, we'll go as far as we can. Mistakes have been made, guys. That was actually a huge mistake because I drove all the way out here with the second vehicle not thinking I had to deliver the jammer. So, I suppose I could uh, drone drop more fuel in and make it the rest of the way, but like I said, the only reason I used this truck was to I thought I had to pick up five things. I wanted the extra slots. And I don't need five things, so... Y'all ever just eat straight Nutella? Uh, actually, Tank Baby, I said this... Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm broken up here. I said this the other day, I actually have never had Nutella. 
We were talking about what people had on their pancakes, like a couple streams back. Alright, so I just got this idea, guys. Let me go back to the Warthog here. Check this. Wait, not Warthog. Yeah, Warthog. Okay, we have one more spot here, right? Yeah, I prefer Wiener Water Soup Tank, baby. We have this spot. We have all of these different things. So we've, we've used Workshop before. We have a tow truck. We have warehouse. I think we have one fuel station. I don't know if we ever used a service station, and we definitely never used this. That was brand new. And I think we've used the... Rep Wait. I don't know if we used a repair station at all. But we've used expanded parking as well. Uh, but we're going to buy the gas station here. Oops. Gas station. That adds 1,200 liters of fuel. So my thought process is... I could take fuel from the fuel station, drop it into the drone, and then drop it into my truck and keep doing that. So let's try. Trade. We have 200 liters of fuel in there. Let's drop off... bunch of that. We'll leave a little bit of fuel in my truck. 30 liters or so. Let's try and back up quick, grab some more fuel. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to try. This is my first time. We'll see if it works. Nutella's good on pancakes, though. Yeah, but I've never had Nutella at all. So how would I know it's good on pancakes? Okay, there we go, 600, that's completely full. I think I'll just fill up my truck just so that I'm leaving with a full uh, full tank here. Hello, Chan. Continuing, continuing the streak, I see. Back up to two days. All right. You're thirsty, give you some fuel. I'm trying something new here, Chan, so let me see. So I, I basically, I ran out of fuel on this truck, right? I just bought a fuel station and I put a whole bunch of fuel in the drone, so I'm gonna see how much fuel I can drop off. So let's try, because I don't know if you knew this, Chan, but you can actually drop fuel to yourself with a drone in this game. Modules, cargo drone. Whoa, I can drop it from the gas station? Okay, I guess I didn't even need to fuel up the drone, but that's crazy. Okay, actually this, this actually works out because I filled up the drone completely and now we can see if it costs if it oops if it costs fuel to run to run the drone out to us or not. So we'll fill up with 350 liters from the fuel station. We'll fill up another 255 into our truck. That's okay. We have 195 left. Now let's go back and check the drone. See if it costs fuel to run out to us. Roll forward quick. Yeah, so it costs 100 fuel to drop you off stuff. So that is good to know. So I can drop drop off stuff to myself five more times with the amount of fuel we have on this map. All right, that is uh, good to know. It is pretty cool. It's uh, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, like to be honest, I wish it wasn't a thing because I don't know. It just it doesn't seem very realistic. I mean, I mean, you could do it theoretically, right? They make big enough drones you could drop yourself off fuel, but. Who's actually going to do that? All right, let's go back to the force. The drone is gas powered. Apparently, yes. Costs 100 fuel to bring it out to yourself. Before, I was always taking 100 fuel, so I wasn't sure if I was taking the 100 fuel, and that's why didn't have a hundred uh, but yeah it costs a hundred and you can you can drop off you know whatever fuel you have and if you have a gas station that's cool you can take anything from there as well okay so I, I just thought about this this maybe I'm wrong if you bought a, a storage warehouse right on the map, you could 
store a bunch of jack screws and anchor points in there. Then if you flipped over your truck, you could have the fuel station with fuel to fuel yourself up, and then you could run the drone out to you. So you'd have to have a drone, gas station, and storage warehouse would be like three of the main ones. And then you could flip yourself over, you could fuel yourself, you could have uh, anchor points, because you can't, you can't normally drop off the anchor points or uh, jack screws, but if you have a storage warehouse, I bet you could. Because it allowed me to access the gas station there. Normally you can't because you have to buy them ahead of time, but if you found them on the map and stuck them into a storage, I bet you could use them. So we're finding out some good information here, valuable info today. All right, let me deflate the tires here. Oh boy, it is struggling to get up here. There we go. Oh, maybe. So yeah, I guess it is a gas-powered drone. Okay, you have aid water. Okay, I remember that one. Final destination, that's the uh, logging one. 92 horses, I don't remember which one that is. Valuable info when you're about to 100% the game, yeah. That is true. Every day is a learning day. But it'll be it'll be handy once we get into the next regions. Also, look at look at how much money we have. Oops, not trade. Next action. Okay, so we got 3,000 for that. How do I check our money? Is it... There we go. We have $1.57 million. So, uh, once we get into the next region, I don't think... Like, we're, we're probably going to buy the, the base modules right away just to make everything easy. So we should be able to kind of run through that. Okay, yeah, we can't do any of those. This is the last thing we have to do on this map, I think. Oh wait, this one's locked. So I have to have different personnel for that one, it looks like. But... Actually... I'm thinking if... Because I didn't use the radar module on this map much, so there might be an upgrade down around here somewhere. Possibly more upgrades because this this map I didn't use the the uh, the radar at all. That's why there's big black spots all over. So there could be. I'll, I'll probably have to look at it later. There could be um, something to do here. Let's see. I think we could just drive down. Pro this is probably the best way across, right? It looks probably the best. Actually, this one, I bet you that's not too too deep. You could probably cross over to here, that's probably not too deep. And then this one has land, but probably cross here. So actually, if we sent it off the back side of this hill, we'd probably be all right. Yeah, we're learning stuff. Which, um, we'll definitely use those modules and stuff later. I don't know what the intelligence one is. I haven't used that one yet. I could buy it, find, try and find out on a different map. There we go. Oh boy, I looked away for one second and saw the truck flip. I looked over at chat, I, saw, I thought I saw something pop up. I think it was me moving my camera around. Okay. This is not gonna turn out well. Let's go as far forward as it lets us, right there. Yep, knew that was coming. All right. There we go. I mean, that was a pretty pretty good way down. 
as far as uh, the amount of damage we took. I was trying to be safe for a little bit. Like I said, I looked over at chat. I, I thought I saw something pop up. It might have been my own screen, like, because basically my screen is mirrored on my other screen to show what you guys are seeing. And so sometimes, like, I'll do stuff on my screen, and then, like, a second later, it pops up on the other one. And I'm like, oh, what was that? You know, I see, like, a quick flash of, like, the sky or something up there. I think after this, we'll go to Sonoran. We'll do a bunch of Sonoran. We'll have to come back here for one single thing, it seems like. And then obviously we gotta go back for the fish. We gotta go for one upgrade somewhere in Carpathians. I think we'll probably drive right across here. That's actually fairly deep there. get up on this hill. Just drive around and go up, it looks like. Okay, fair enough. Looks like you could sneak up right there if you wanted to go around as well. Question for Ian, because Ian's played season 13. Ian, um, how many how many valuable shortcuts would you say you found for season 13? Hello Tobias, welcome to the stream. How many things like how many shortcuts would you say like, oh this one was really good? Like I had to go down this road five times, I used the shortcut, you know, probably the third time after I drove down it once or twice. Kind of figured out where I was going. Oh no. It's got to get dropped off over there. Wait, over there. Actually this... Looks like I could... Oh wait, I don't have a spare parts though. I could probably build a bridge and then cross there and go that way. Okay. I think I used up all my spare parts so I'll probably have to... Um, drone in more. That was like a perfect, maybe not quite perfect, but a, a very close to perfect timing drop. Oh, see, I only have 60, so now we got a drone drop. I guess we'll drone drop fuel as well. Let's do... About 10, okay. Let me do... The modules. Cargo drone. Okay, we can drop off 100 spare parts, which is perfect. Just enough. So yeah, here, if, you're, if you need something in the store, you can buy these things, but you can't buy jack screws and uh, anchor points. So that's where if you if you had picked them up on the map or used them before and dropped them off in a storage warehouse, I think you could use them, have the drone drop them off. 
And then let's drop off some fuel over here. Alright, deliver supplies. Hang on, I'm gonna skip some time. So I made a video in my top five shortcuts. I'm not sure if I'll put that out tomorrow or when. Probably tomorrow. But I, I would say I only really found seven, probably, that were really useful. One of them was, well, a couple of them, actually, are only useful, I would say, really going down, uh, down into the mines. Oh, here, found a airdrop here. Down into the mines, and another one is going down from a warehouse. I didn't include that one in the video, just because I, I included the ones going down to the mines, because those ones will save you a ton of time. The one going down from the warehouse would save you a good amount of time, but the mines are way, way more time. And you also go into the mines a lot more. Well, I shouldn't say a lot more. Not One of the mines I, I put in there, you only go in there like twice. Um, yeah, one of, them's a, one of them goes out to the airport. Uh, three of them are into the mines, and then one of them's like a... It's just a shortcut, I guess, through... Like through basically, like, because there's no main road going left to right on the map, kind of, or at least not over by the mines. You have to go all the way above or all the way around below. Yeah, there's one other one that I contemplated putting in there, and I probably should have switched one of them, but oh well. I think they're all good shortcuts going down anyways. Yeah, there's one for each each mine that I thought was really good. Um, expeditions look so different, I'm guessing more desert areas. Yeah, there's, there's four maps, which these are, this is Arizona, so there's four Arizona maps that are all desert. And then there's one map in Little Colorado, which is desert. And then there's four maps, which are the Carpathian Mountains. And those ones are more SnowRunner-ish. I believe the the theme of year one for expeditions is kind of more desert-ish. The mine shortcuts, you can go up or down as well. Yeah, you can go up or down, I just... They're kind of hard to go up, but you, yeah, you certainly could. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, I gotta go up there. I think we'll come right back to Waweep with different people and try and knock out this last one so I can kind of, in my head, say, okay, Waweep is done. Okay, what are we at? We got four contracts and one task left. Not bad. So five things, basically. Have you experienced bugs yet? Not too many. Yeah, I've had a couple of times where we clipped in the ground. Uh, what is this? Okay, so yeah, this one we need different people for, it looks like. Actually, does it say? So, to attract tourists who love beautiful views of untouched nature to these places, we need to make this nature untouched. Cleaning up the garbage is not a problem, but the old oil rigs spoil. Oh, spoil the whole picture. I was like, spoil? What do you mean? Um, dismantle them. Scrap metal can be brought to the island. We will take care of its transportation. Oh man, that sounds like a... Wait, didn't I have to drop those off? 
I'm pretty sure I had to put those out. Okay. What is this? Airdrop. That's weird. You can like see through the map right there. But yeah, I think my fish might be bugged on one of them. There's a mission that I have to like scan some fish. And for some reason I can't seem to scan the fish. Let's go back to Waweep. Free roam. Let's add the three people I wasn't using. Hopefully that solves it. We're kind of running the same vehicles again. Just again, so we have the, the internal storage plus the bed storage. So it's kind of best of both worlds plus the autonomous winches. So in my opinion, the way to go in the this game is these small trucks with autonomous winches and beds because you get... Um, if you have scout trucks, you can get the internal storage and the autonomous winch. And if you have the big trucks, you can get the bed storage. But... And the, well, you have the internal and the bed. All of them have internal, but uh, the, the smaller trucks get the bed and the autonomous winch, so that's uh, the main thing. Alright. Wait, what? How did I... I must have double clicked that. Maybe I'll throw in some extra fuel. Okay. Let's deploy. And... Yeah, we gotta get scrap metal from those three different places. I think this should be good. Let's just try it. Uh, the other bugs that I've had were like rocks sticking to the bottom of the truck, which they... I think they fixed that. Okay, now it's now it allows us to track this one. See that? So now we can go to those three areas and do that. What was the last one? Maybe that was it. Okay. So far, so good, Gordon. What is the main trucks you use? Those three. Like I said, I kind of kind of just explained it. Um, all beds have internal storage, or all trucks, excuse me. Uh, some trucks have more than others. Like the, the Tatra Force here, I think, can have eight spots of internal storage, and the smallest truck can have, like, three, the Don 71. But... The main thing is, some of these, some of the things in this game require certain things. Um, like, they might require uh, like a hydro monitoring system or something like that, which you need a bed for. Sorry, I just had a minor sneeze attack um, and so if you ha if you don't have a truck with a bed oh boy let's turn on the all the drive yeah, if you don't have a truck with a bed then you have to come come back with a whole nother trip so in my opinion the trucks with beds are probably the most useful but you also don't want the trucks with beds that are too big, right? Because if you have a truck that's like this one, that has a bed that's huge, and you flip this thing over, there's no there's no autonomous winch. Now, it, you, yeah, you can have jack screws, but... Um, I don't know. I run with jack screws and the, the anchor points at this point because I have so much money, but... I think the, uh, the autonomous winches are really nice because if you flip over your truck you can throw out an anchor point and then attach to that and flip yourself back over. Uh, let's go left. 
here, I think. Could go right and then across this, maybe. Yeah, we'll try that, I guess. Anybody else losing their DLC tires on SnowRunner? I've never heard of that eagle. How are you losing your tires? They just... Oh, like when you put the vehicle in the garage, the tires unequip? I've heard of that. Is that what's happening? You keep having to equip your tires? For some reason the game, like, thinks you don't own the Jats for a bit and then, like, unequips your tires and then you have to re-equip them? Where do I go from here? Could turn right and go down to it. That would make sense. Let's do that. Almost fell off the edge backing up so fast. Oh, what? That edge got us good. You lose them when you log off the game. So. You log off and then it detects that you don't own the tires and then like unequips them. Is that what's going on? That's kind of what it sounds like. I think I might have to go down again. You have to rebuy them? Like rebuy them in game, not with not like rebuy the the, the DLC, right? I think I'm gonna try and go down here. I know it's kind of steep still, but I gotta get off this level here. All right, that works. Okay, does this take a spot? Yes, it does. Oh, actually, you could you could head over there fairly easily. I didn't know there was a, a path over there from this way. This might be the fastest way across the map, then. I've been going all the way up or all the way down. Tobias says, are there garage or are there garages on expeditions? Um, they're they're not called garages, but they well actually yeah they do have a garage, but it's it's uh it's kind of back at the main menu, sort of not main menu but um, yeah they don't have garages on the map they have what's called outposts or something I can't remember if that's the right term. I think they're called outposts, yeah. 
and then you can you can't fix or you can't uh, change add-ons on your truck but you can refuel it and fix your truck and buy some other stuff that you might need but you can't you can't like put a sideboard bed on your truck and then be like oh actually I want to have a flatbed you can't you go switch that that you'd have to go back to the main menu or not main menu but like quit out of the the map you're on go to your headquarters it's called hello Lonnie in the game put me put you the def default tires so you lose money yeah I think I've heard of that I didn't know oh whoops I didn't know you have to rebuy them but uh, I guess that kind of makes sense if they unequip them well I guess it doesn't make sense but um, I thought you just they went into your inventory but you have to rebuy them so that's not good they are outposts okay thank you Ian it didn't sound right when I said it I had to think about it for a second and I was like is it outposts Alright, so we're going to use a smaller truck. We're going to get rid of one of the cargo, so we'll have two slots. I think we'll actually... Maybe we'll use this truck, because it's... Both of them are kind of close to here. I think we'll recover one truck and go get, get it, actually. I think this truck would probably work better for one of them. Just because it's big, so for the water crossing it might, might work out better. Actually, can I... Because, yeah, I, I can go across the water here and then all the way over to there and grab one, but then I need to go up to there for the other, so... I think I'm gonna... Switch trucks. Let's grab something like the Warthog. Let's trade, get rid of... Uh, wait... There we go. Yeah, we'll see if we can't sneak over there a bit faster. I don't know if this is a good good or bad path going down, but we're kind of finding out, I guess. Taking some damage, but slowly making our way down, so I guess it's decent. It would be nice to know, like, oh hey, we have uh, seven missions left. These seven give you these seven upgrades. Or I don't really know what they're going to give us, if anything, right now. Is it just me, or does the game look a lot nicer? I think the game looks a lot nicer, Tank. Looks a lot nicer and drives a lot nicer. Let's see what the rest of the chat has to say, I guess.
there a path down? Okay, there is. Kind of. Okay, hopefully this stream isn't too fast. There we go. Nice, we can detach and get across. Perfect. What, you lower yourself with a winch? Uh, sometimes. Not usually. Honestly, normally it's just faster to drive off the edge and then jack screw it. Oh wait, this might be too deep here. Maybe. I think I think it is. That's no good. We're that in SnowRunner. Lowering off the uh, lowering off the uh, tree like extending the winch basically instead of retracting it. That would be a very nice addition. That would be probably the best addition. Oh no, I can't put it anywhere. To add into SnowRunner would probably be that. I know a lot of people would like to see the the tire deflation, but honestly the tire deflation might give you too much traction in SnowRunner to make like a lot of those areas that are like muddy and like kind of hard to climb or whatever like way too easy like it just give you too much traction it make it make like all the tires into like crazy crazy good grip tires i wouldn't mind if they had like no roads like just so sort of paths i guess you could you know like, clear, like, a bunch of trees are cleared, right? But there's no, like, road going down there. It's just kind of like, yeah, you probably should go this way, but if you want to go off where there's a couple of cleared trees here and there, you can go that way as well. Like, a more direct route through a, a patch of trees, but then there's, like, a kind of a clear path that goes, like, up and around or down and around or something. It feels weird. We have like, like I said, five things left to do. I probably should be very careful on this little path because if this blows us off, then we're going downriver. I was kind of on the south, like the, the downstream side. I should have stayed on the upstream side. That way if we do get blown, we get pushed into some rocks rather than just start floating downriver. See if we can sneak up on this part. Very nice. I was trying to see if you can see our vehicle over there. I don't see it. it must be behind the the dollar signs. I think this might be the last mission that we need to have this group of people with. I think the other one... 
Oh shoot, I just thought about this. I should have gone the other way first. Oh well. Uh, I think the other one... We can use all the normal people. The people we normally would use for it. I think. Yeah, I just found it easier when you're trying to figure out what, what people you need for a certain mission. You just run the three people with one, and then run the other three people. That way you're not like... Trying to figure out, oh, did I need this person, or was it that one, or you know, like... If you just run with one person, or two people... Or three people, even. And then you run with like one or two of the same people, and then just change out one person, then it... Might take you like four, five, six trips to narrow it down to which person you actually need. Which I don't care which person I actually need, I just equip three people. If it's the wrong three, I equip the other three. So, two trips. Wait, I drove past where... Oh wait, no I didn't. We're coming up to it. Okay. For a second there I was like, oh crap, I drove past it. Alright, gotta dismantle this thing. And then go back. I think we have one more across the river over there, but... I've crossed this river on this part before. Obviously there's no fords or anything, so you're probably not really supposed to cross here. You're supposed to go, like, through this, or, you know, one of these various points going to this island. So I think I'll go back with this truck all the way back to here, and then we'll probably take the big truck out that way, or maybe we'll use the small one again. But definitely don't want to use the small truck and try and cross the ford, or whatever, the river crossing over there. I feel like that's just a bad idea. Let's see if we can ride the ride the bottom here. See if this is any faster. I feel like it probably is. Then going up into those areas, up and down, left and right. Just ride the shoreline here. And it definitely seems faster. Should have done this earlier. Yeah, this is nice through here. I highly recommend that. I was wondering if we would skip across that or not. Let's skip some time. So even here it's not too bad. It's a little bit rocky, but it's still a pretty good path overall. I think this path, even though it's not direct, is still a good path. It seems like the other path would probably be better, but... After driving that path a bunch of times, and this one... I'm definitely taking this one every time from now on. Alright, we're almost back to the drop-off point. Oh, we're almost out of fuel as well. There we go. All of a sudden our truck started, like, stalling a little bit.
There we go. Almost back with two out of three now. It's expeditions, bud, yeah. The roads, or uh, not that there are roads, but there's certain paths that kind of look like they would be, you know, good paths to drive on, and they are, like, it, it is a pretty good path up there. It's just faster to go off the path. Some sections you can't really do that, but other sections you can. That's one of the ones where it's like you can go off the path and actually it's a lot faster. I think I'm going to steal all the fuel out of the big truck here and then just go from here. Change the angle here. There we go, deliver supplies. Um, back up here. Trade. Let's drop some fuel. There we go. Fully fueled up. I think we got across here. I'm trying to remember how we came here exactly. Then to the right over here. Across here. And I think that's the final river. Now we're back on the main shore on the opposite side. Which is kind of surprising. They haven't popped up with the, uh, the pickup point yet. Must not be close. Let's see if we can sneak by all these trees. Oh boy. There we go, let's try and get that far left tree, like, don't drop me. There we go, we got the pickup point to show up now. I 
think we'll go down into the river this time. I was saying before I should have just gone across, but I feel like with the smaller truck it's going to be easier to go into the river here, or whatever you want to call it. I think this is the last of Waweep, and then we gotta go to Sonoran for a couple. I do think we missed one upgrade in Sonoran, if I remember correct, and I think we still have one in... I don't know where the one is in Carpathians. I think we've... I thought we got them all, so... It stinks that we missed one somewhere. not going to work. I got to find a way out of this. Looks like maybe up this hill to the right here, I guess. And anchor point right in the middle of the road, nice. Yeah, you can kind of see there's a road right here, like just barely, but you can sort of see there's a road. We got to go all the way across through here, though. Tank baby, are you playing the game today? You're usually playing something. Okay, where exactly is this one at? Over here. Just around the corner to the right, but this big old block going down is kind of tough. Beam NG currently, nice. How's that going? I've actually never played that game, but I've watched a lot of videos of, like, different crashes at different speeds and how stuff kind of works on there. Okay, there we go. Now let's go that way. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't let me go to the other tree. Does anyone use the horn on blockades in SnowRunner? Yep, I do. I think a lot of people do, actually.
Come on. My tires aren't even spinning. Let's try... oops. Try from the back of the truck, maybe. Gotta keep pushing the up button to open the functions. What are we stuck on now? There we go. That was quite a tough climb. Pretty good trying out some mods, nice. Okay, we got the last one. I just got a thought about this. If we recover now, do we keep that in our inventory? I think we probably would. Finally, kind of made it. There we go. This is actually a pretty steep hill here. It doesn't, kind of hard to show, but it doesn't show through on the screen as well as it probably should. Pretty steep hill. For anybody else who plays Expeditions, what do you guys use for your main, main vehicles? Curious to see if anybody else has kind of come to the conclusion that I have about the the smaller vehicles with the autonomous winches and the beds. Kind of get the best of all the worlds. The beds from the big big trucks, the autonomous winches from the small trucks, and then obviously you have your internal inventory for anything that's internal, I guess, which a lot of it is. again. Switch some time while we're at it. Wait, 1600? Like, wait, what? That's so much brighter. So much better. Perfect. Okay. Oh man, destroyed our tire. All right, on our way. Zing, I'm guessing you're playing Satisfactory again. You've made something cool. I can only assume that's in Satisfactory. You're super happy with that. It 
So Zing, are you done with uh, done with expeditions now? You've got you've had enough of it, or? Actually, why'd I go off this road here? I didn't need to do that. Trying something new in your editing software. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's good. I've seen you made a couple more shorts now from the uh, the first one. How are those going? I know you said you just found out last time that you can like check how many subscribers you've gained from them and stuff. You didn't know how you could check that before. You kind of met with expeditions. Needs a ton of work. Um, it's not seeming like it's getting, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard it was kind of rushed out the door because of the sale of the company. So, it needed some more time probably to fine-tune a lot of the stuff and... Yeah, it got fo forced out the door and then now it's kind of like, okay, well... Are you gonna fix it or are you gonna leave it? Which, so they said they'd have some update in April. I don't know if they have or have not yet, but... I'm not sure how much I'll play it after this. I think I'll play, like, the, uh, each new season to kind of see what it has to offer, but... At the same time, I'm like, how much am I going to play the new seasons, though? Am I going to play it just once, or am I going to play it... You know, like play it three or four times and maybe that's enough to beat it, I don't know. It seems like it's forgotten. Uh oh. Barely made that. You'll revisit, uh, and the new seasons, yeah. Should have waited to add those fish, definitely. Somebody did say that it was probably from my, my field of view, which I changed that, but I was changing the first person field of view. Apparently, if you have your third person field of view above 100, it might not work. And mine is above 100, so... I mean, I guess I'll have to try it today or maybe after the stream, but... I pretty much did the entire, uh, entire expedition like tw two or three times on stream, so... Yeah, I'll probably just do it alone if it does work off stream. And just say, screw it. Alright, I believe this is the last one here in Waweep. I think we've done everything we can do here. We got a couple more to do in Sonoran, though. The mini games are awful. <laughs> I don't mind some of them, but other ones, like the little the little sliding icon for pictures, that's fine. But the fish, come on. There we go. And the metal junk in the river, depending on how small the circle is, that one's pretty bad as well. Oops. 33,000 for that one. That's pretty good pay. So... Okay, so one of them in Sonora and we need this group of people. The other two we don't. We're done with all the tasks, I believe. Okay, we got one more task to find two upgrades. So we got three total missions and two upgrades. So it could be, we could find all the upgrades here, but it looks like we have 101 out of 102 over here. And I don't think, with these done and these done, I don't think that last one gives us that last upgrade, so I think I missed one. And this also looks like 202 out of 204, not 203. 
So... Because this looks like a 2. This looks like it would be a 4. I didn't even check how much money we made. Oh well. Okay, so the same group in Sonoran here. Actually, let's do the other group. Let's do... Because I have multiple missions to do with the other group. So we'll use the main, the main group that I normally use. I think I can take the seismic off this now probably as well. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the seismic off. Hopefully I don't need it. Uh, take off that. And then let's do... I think, actually, I think I want the same one. And then we want radar and fuel. I think that's it. Okay. Get our, again, main trucks here. Try and complete this thing. Actually, I just removed that truck on accident. Okay. Let's do... Alright, one of those, one of those. Four, one, one, two, one. And I think I need two of those. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. So this I have one upgrade up here. So we are missing one from here. Hey JJ, hope you're doing well, brother. I am Jaren. How are you doing? Okay, let's see. We can do that one. Actually, it looks like we can do all three of the ones we had to do in here. That's interesting. I thought we had one that we couldn't do. Maybe that was one that just didn't uh, didn't matter. So, hey, wait, hang on a second. So, we're still missing one task. God, really? Right off the bat? Smashed into a rock. Nice. Hey, we have a complete power outage in two harbors right now. Yeah, it was storming here earlier. I was saying the thunder was, like, really loud. I'm surprised I... It looks like I had a lot of lag, maybe, but... Um, I don't think I lost connection. Although I did... I did drop, like, half the viewers at one point, so I think maybe I did have a little blip. Okay. Find an oasis. That one would be easy. Let's do that right away. So let's recover to uh, this base. Outposts, the... Wait, central? Okay, sure. Central it is. I'm gonna buy a fuel add-on here. So let's do gas station. There we go. So yeah, Zing, I found out you can get a uh, gas station as one of your, your module things, your base modules. And if you have the drone, basically you can have, because the drone can, it, it can only drop off 100 fuel like three times, actually two times, I think. After that, you have to put more fuel in it to drop off more fuel. But um, if you get the gas station, you can actually switch to it and get a bunch of fuel out of there, like a crazy amount. 
It's pretty much as much as you want. I put like 600 fuel in one of my trucks earlier in the stream. And, uh... Yeah, basically it allows you to have like 1,500 fuel instead of the normal 300. Gives you an extra 1,200 fuel to work with. So if you really want to drive around on the maps, if you have one of those in each map, you are set. Doing well, just woke up 7 a.m. here in Australia. Nice, Ian's here. Uh, Ian's also Australian. He said it was 6 a.m., but that was probably about an hour ago, so... Would add up. Actually, how many time zones does Australia cover? Is it... does it cover multiple? It's probably two or three, right? Yeah, and I've actually said before, Zing, that I don't think you can drone drop, uh... I don't think you can drone drop, um, what is it? Jack screws or anchor points? I couldn't think of the jack screws name. Um, but actually, I think you can. If you get a storage warehouse, I think you can pick up jack screws around the map and then store them in there. And then you could, if you need them you could just take them out of there. So you could, I think you can drone drop them if you happen to have the right, um, the right base modules. So if you have a storage one, a drone one, and a fuel one, you should be pretty set for anything that you need. You'd have fuel, you'd have jack screws, you could buy anything from the store. That would be the absolute best case scenario for all your maps. Those three, and then you kind of get a fourth one if you want to go with like an extra parking or a towing. Towing would be nice to get free recoveries for all your vehicles. Those would probably be the four I would go with. I wouldn't go with any other four, probably. Now we gotta go behind me. You sent me something on Discord? Yeah, I'll have to check it out later, Zing. Is it the, uh, the edit that you were proud of? Or is it something different? You don't have to say, I'm just... Good day, mate, to Jaren. I probably, I probably said the good a little bit too much. Good day. Good day, mate. Should I buy or wait a little? Wait, where did my... Where'd the marker just go? Where's the mission I'm tracking? Install hydro monitoring system. Where? I don't see it. Oh, right here. I'm at the spot. Duh. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. And take a picture. Um, I would wait a little bit, Eagle. Like Zing said, it seems like... I mean, the game seemed like it kind of got rushed out the door. And that's what I heard as well. Um, it seems, I mean, I'm having fun playing it, but it's kind of becoming a pain at this point because the ones I have left, there's no good way to figure out what map you're, what map they're on, um, like, or what I need, what personnel I need, because some of them need certain personnel, and even certain things, like some of them need the seismic vibrator and it doesn't, like, tell you, although the seismic's a little bit easier, you can kind of just read it. But yeah, it's, it's becoming more of a pain because you have to equip certain personnel and certain vehicles and it would be nice if they had like a preset of vehicles you could do. Oh no. Oh. No good. But this is where the... Uh Oops, this is where I like having the smaller vehicles because... I can just throw out a uh, anchor point, flip it back over. Whereas if it's a big vehicle, you can throw out the anchor point, but it's not going to do you anything. But yeah, I would wait. I think it's it's got some good stuff and bad stuff, but kind of like Zing said, it seems like it's a little bit forgotten right now. They got other stuff on their mind, I think. But yeah, it's a good game. I would just say it's probably not for a lot of people that play SnowRunner. It's just not up their alley. 
but it's definitely a good change. If you like playing SnowRunner and you want something to kind of a change of pace game, it's nice to have something else to play. But I would say it probably needs a little bit of more work before I would say, yeah, go get it. I think... I think earlier I gave it like a 6... I don't remember, was 6 2, 6 4, something like that. So it's it needs some work for sure. Yeah, once they get multiplayer, that should help. They'll probably get multiplayer in like three days right after I beat the whole game. Yeah, Zing, Zing probably nailed it. He would classify it as a buy on sale game. So yeah, if it's not on sale, probably don't pay full price for it, but when it goes on sale, then it's probably worth picking up. Probably depending on the price, but at least it's on sale. But don't pay full price at this stage. There we go. Whoa. I bought SnowRunner right before one Season 1 Rift map. Uh, yeah, Rift. Rift wasn't in the game at the start, I remember that. And then, yeah, I think... I remember I was playing at the time. I don't remember if Season 1 came out with Rift, or if Rift came out just a little bit before that, but I think they might have even come out at the same time, if I'm not, not wrong. But yeah, that was a good time. See what we got here. More checkpoints. Oops. Right behind me. Okay. Oh, I need a light beacon. Tell me I have light beacons. I do. That's the one thing I grabbed. <laughs> nice. Lucky. I, I basically randomly equip things in my truck, guys. I'm sure you've kind of seen that. And I just pick random trucks. Well, not random, but... Whatever truck I, I choose to start the map with is kind of random. I'm not going with anything particular. Nice, 5300, done. Okay, what's the next one we got? Portable Medio Station, so which truck has those? And, wait, that one's got two of those, one. I think it's this one. That's got two Meteo Stations. I think I need a third one. Portable Meteo Station. Yeah, so I gotta get rid of the Hydro Monitoring System here. Grab another one of those. There we go. Should be good. You're waiting on college football return. Eagle, where are you from? It, I mean, your name is Eagle. Does that make you an Eagles fan? Eagles football team? It's not It's not like a Philadelphia Eagles Eagle, but could be. Bama, okay. Are you a Bama fan? I'm, I'm assuming yes. How can you how can you live in Alabama and not be an Alabama fan with how good they are? Oh yikes! There we go. Roll tie, there you go.
Yeah, I don't think I have anybody in my chat who's going to debate you on that because we're not not a not a sports channel or a football channel or anything. I don't think most people care in here. You, Bama. What do you think? A Baylor? LSU? I mean, there's, there's a lot of schools you could go with from where you're from. Texas Tech? Texas? Louisiana State? There's another school, yeah. Yeah, it. Uh, isn't that where Cam Newton went? I can't... For some reason, I can't think of the name. Uh, Auburn? Where's Auburn? Is that... Is that the right, uh, right school, or my... I? I genuinely don't know. LSU for Tank Baby. I mean, as a Vikings fan, and we got Justin Jefferson from LSU, so I'll take that. Sports ball, yeah. Sports? You guys talking about sports? A and M Aggies, huh? For lessons. In that case, me, I'm, I'm, che or I'm cheering for the uh, Minnesota Gophers and Zings cheering for the Wisconsin Badgers. Yeah, there's an acronym for them. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I remember that's where Cam Newton went, and I was just like, I think that's the other school, but I, I don't know my colleges all that well, so... Basically just wanted confirmation from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, because I don't. Alright, Medio Station is complete. Got an airdrop here, nice. We'll take that. Usually we don't, it's too far out of the way. Uh yeah, we'll take those. Why not? I think I will drop off one of these. And actually, we'll take out some of those parts. There we go. Um, isn't Bama the best state for college football? Yes, that is correct. Well, Alabama has won, like, a bunch of national championships. And so it's like... I think they're, they're like... I don't know the numbers, but yeah, they're, like, far and away the best team... At least over the last, like, two decades or so, they've just won a ton of them. They're ranked number one or number two or, like, way up there pretty much every year. Um, Alabama usually beats around November. <laughs> uh, Zing says, I like going to games. The hype, no matter what the game is, it is cool. I've actually never been to a college football game. I've been to high school, I've been to... Wait, what is this? Is that how you start the task? Scan the ritual site? I mean, I guess I'm already close to it, might as well. 
Um, I've been to high school and I've been to professional, but I've never been to a college game. I don't really watch much college ball. Nice. I had a feeling it was going to be up here. Oh, both of them are okay. Got some dinosaur bones and a big circle. Okay, stage complete. We have to go here and then here. So we got both both of our tasks are kind of like lined up. 18. Well, yeah, but you're you're from Texas lessons. College is football is huge in Texas. I mean, they say everything's bigger in Texas, but I mean, Texas is crazy about football. Around here, I mean, you don't even really see much gopher, like, shirts or hats or anything. Like, there's, I mean, it's, it's the home team, but there's not really, people don't really care about football that as much around here. He said, tied with Harvard Ivy League, nice. Yeah, I don't really care about on care about it on TV, uh, but you got to go to a game. It's just loud, pure loud. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to a college game. Okay, let's sneak down here. Let's see if we can sneak up on this side. You used to really enjoy playing gridiron football, but there's no teams where you live in Australia. Most of them are in the city. You must live kind of... I mean, I know Australia is like... Well, I guess most countries are, but they're like really, really compact in the cities. And then once you get out of the cities, it's like there's nothing around. Oh, here's one. Oh, both of them. Okay, let's go the right one first. More animal bones. Noise. Alright, now let's track the other mission, because we're almost close to that one. Or I guess we are close to that, not almost close. Yeah, there actually is quite a few uh, NFL punters that are, like, on on teams or practice squads or, like, trying out and stuff like that. You guys do have a lot of punters. I think it's mostly from... Is it rugby? Or is it some other... Or is it something else? I think they're usually from rugby, aren't they? I don't know if you even punt in, in rugby. I've, I've watched some rugby, but... Uh, are you almost done with this game, says Zatanna? Yeah, we're pretty close, Zatanna. We're, like, closing in on the last couple of percentage here. I don't know exactly how far we are. But I think we missed an upgrade in Carpathians. We still have one expedition to do there, but it just doesn't seem to want to work for us. Uh, we got... I believe one task I have a, have to find here. 5,500 for that. Lesson says I wish America had rugby. Now we got this one up here. And then we could probably go up and get that upgrade. I had to fix your writing. You had to make it sound uh, sound like proper English. Because, like, most, most countries around the world sp speak English, like, backwards, or sp speak backwards compared to English, if that makes sense. You're closer to FSU, Florida State University. Tuscaloosa.
Yeah, actually, let's see, Zatanna. We are 98 and 99 in 100%. So we have... Over here, we have one upgrade and one expedition. And then over here, we have four things left to do. Two are upgrades, one is a task, and one is a contract. So... Six total things to do, basically. Six out of, like... What would that be? Uh, probably like four, five, 450 or so things in total, like upgrades, contracts, tasks, expeditions. Oops. Nice, got it. There won't be much for you to do until uh, co-op comes out. Yeah, but I don't really play co-op. You probably know that. I pretty much just play all by myself anyways. Oh shoot, that one's way down below. But yeah, I'm just going to go back to playing SnowRunner probably. Maybe even some MudRunner. I saw Nathan's been playing that lately. I played it a couple of months ago. I've only streamed it once. But I've uh, put out a couple episodes before I streamed it. I would like to play some more Mud Runner, but yeah, once we beat this, we'll kind of switch between probably this and Snow Runner for uh, the sort of updates or DLCs or whatever seasons. All right, we got to get off this ledge, don't we? Okay, let's get off this ledge as well. If possible. How did we land on that? Alright, here, let's do this. Let's pull ourselves over backwards. That way we can use the jack screw. Okay. Um, there we go. You landed, yeah, somehow. I don't know how we landed. You field rugby in the World Cup. Nice, yeah. We don't really have... I mean, we, we might have a couple of teams of rugby, but I don't think we really have any rugby here. Don't you guys also play a lot of cricket? I don't really know a lot of other other sports, but we don't play. Uh, maybe we have a couple of cricket teams here too. I guess I don't know, but I don't think we do. There we go. It's got the guy who played Rudy. Oh, from uh, in the movie. Nice, mate. Uh, then if I get downloaded from my friend, me and you can play. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't usually play uh, co-op with anything. Cricket puts you to sleep. I don't know. I don't understand how you play cricket. I've watched rugby, so I kind of I've seen some of that before, but I still don't understand the rules. But cricket, I have no idea. Jeez, this one's way up there. Oh, 9,000 for that. Very nice. So as you can see, we're done with the contracts and the tasks, so... Uh, what do we got? Done. Done. We have one task to find, two upgrades. So that last task better give us an upgrade. Otherwise, we got to find one upgrade 
here and one upgrade in Carpathians. So let's go grab this upgrade. It's uh, 300 meters away. Very true. Cricket's a really old school game, okay. Is the payment in here better than SnowRunner? Um, pr yeah, probably. I mean, it's pretty similar, I would say, for the most part. But there's also a lot more stuff to do. It seems like every region has, like... Well, actually, how, how many would that be? Per map, you'd get... What would that be? About nine expeditions per map, roughly. Um... Plus around 25. You have about yeah, you have about 34-ish missions per map. About. I don't even know if that cleared anything, but we'll do it anyways. So yeah, it's a little bit more more stuff to do as far as uh, each map goes, and there's definitely a lot more upgrades. 205 total to find. Um, Parts, some of them are um, found through contracts, some are found through tasks, some are found through expeditions, and then some are found through just exploring, like that one up there we had to go get, so. We got an airdrop over here, nice. Hello, PAX1. Welcome in. How are you doing today, Pax1? Okay, we got a... Looks like a route up here to the right, and then turn back and go left to go get that. But yeah, I think we'll have to run out with the radar trailer to see if we can find out which mission we're missing. On which map. We don't even know which map or which mission. And then, once we find that out, we can complete that last one. Then we can figure out which, which, uh, ex, er, because once we complete all the missions, we'll know which. Oh, we need more? Nah, I don't care that much. Then we can figure out what, actually, yeah, I guess we'll go over here. We got the, uh, airdrop right here. We can figure out from there which, what we got left, basically, because we can narrow it down when I don't know what we find out which mission out, take the fuel. Take the upgrade points. So yeah, what I might do actually is after this, I'll probably quit out, see what upgrades we need. We should need three. Um, I don't know actually if the, the last, no actually the last expedition doesn't I've checked. The last expedition in Carpathians does not give us an upgrade, so it's definitely on the map somewhere. And then we got probably one more to find on the map in this region as well. Actually, you know what, let's back up. Can I go further around, maybe? Maybe I'll go up here, go that way. Try that. Yeah, I think quit note's gonna give us the best chance to try and find the last upgrade. We'll have to sort through our trucks. We should only have like three missing, so it should be easy just to see based off numbers, like, oh, you got 49 out of 49 on this truck. No wonder why I didn't get this upgrade last time. This one looks pretty brutal to find.
All right, let's throw this jack screw up here. Or uh, anchor point can't talk. Okay, let's winch that, pull it out. There we go. Actually, I'm going to stay on the top side of this. Very rocky, but we'll do it. Sharon says, hey Pax, hope you're having a good day. Hope so as well. Okay. Actually, I think I might be able to throw off a radar here, see if we're anywhere close. Not on this truck, but other truck. Off-road gearbox for the ANK. Okay. Oh, actually, it looks like I explored, unless there's an upgrade right here, I explored this map very well. Okay, let's check. What was it again? 37, 41, so we have one task. Wait. Wait. One task and two upgrades still. What? Is that right? I'm missing two? Yeah, okay, I'm missing two upgrades in one task. So at least one more for sure has to be found. And then over here we're missing one upgrade in that. I think I'm going to pull up the... Uh, What is it called? The 3D map render here and see if we can find if there's anything more on this map. What map are we on? I already forget. Uh, Arizona, Sonoran Desert. Dang, I must have a slow connection here. Okay, let me see. I don't know how to narrow this down really much. Let's see. I haven't really messed around on here too much. Um, okay, there's one, two, three. I think we've got all... So there's one in the bottom right corner. I know we got that one. One kind of in the middle, I'm pretty sure we've got that one. Finding that randomly would have been ridiculous. Okay, let me go back to the game here. I'm going to check out my map quick. Okay, so the only real section is kind of this bottom, middle, and over here. The rest of it we've pretty much explored. Well, that's the thing. Because I might have drove past it but not used the radar, so it could be, like, right in here, you know? I think, the, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back. I think I'm going to have to go back and find out which upgrades we're missing exactly, so then I can fi figure it out. So let's go headquarters. Judging by the last one, I'm guessing it's on top of that mound. Hey, thank you. Too much SnowRunner today. How you doing, fellas? Okay, let's check out the garage here. So, we've got all the upgrades. Let's go scout by scout first. Actually, yeah, why not? Um, all the Warthog upgrades are done. Oh, actually, here we go. KRS Bandit, we're missing two. What are we missing? Off-road. And oh, off-road and emergency reserves. Let's see if we can find that off-road gearbox for the KRS. Oh wait, actually, it says it says that upgrade that we literally just found is in the off-road for the KRS Bandit. So hang on, let me go back to the main menu see if that updates.
Oh, this is a long loading time here. Yeah, my connection must be really bad today, guys. It's showing up red right now. Dropping frames. It's funny, it's dropping crazy amounts of frames right now, but it's on a loading screen. There's nothing to even load. Like, I know it's... It's the internet connection, not the, uh... Not like the GPU processing the frames, but it's still kind of funny. Holy cow. Dude, this is taking forever. I don't think I've ever had a load this long before. I'm wondering if it didn't like freeze or something. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I'm just gonna close out of the game, it doesn't look like it's loading here. No bugs, game working as intended. Oh yeah, someone was asking earlier about bugs, I kind of forgot about the, uh, if you fly the drone too far away, it'll like crash your game, that's been fixed. Or if you bought the, uh, what is it, the drone, cargo drone, and you used it right away, that would crash your game. Yeah, that was very strange. I don't know why it wasn't loading there. That was kind of weird. First time I've had that one where it just seemed to load forever. You guys, yeah, I was going to say it should be popping up on your screen here pretty soon. That never happened to me either. First time for everything, Zing. Okay, push A to continue, continue. So look at how long this loading screen is. That's how norm that's how quick it normally is. You see you see the line underneath it just zoom and then done. Okay, let's go to garage. Let's check the KRS bandit. Okay, now it's showing 43, so it did count that last one. Let's go back. What was it? The off-road? Yeah, see it found it. So you have to log out. Um Okay, let me go back. Which What was the other one it needed? Uh, okay, few, emergency reserves large. Oops. I'll probably have to find these later. But, okay, that one's good. So that one needs emergency re reserves large. Ooh, the A and K needs something else. St wait. St stocks? Is, what is going on? That was weird. Oops. Customize. Got all the winches. Got all those. Okay, emergency reserves large for this truck as well. That might be... That might be all the upgrades then. I think that might be it. I guess. Okay, because there's one there, one there, so that's two. The step needs one as well. Three. Okay, that's it for the off road. This one needs one, that's four upgrades. Okay, so we're missing four total upgrades. What was the other two trucks? I already forgot. I think there were... One was here. Okay.
Stone sculptures. Okay. Stone sculptures. Where is that? Oh, it's on this map, the map I just quit out of. Nice. Okay, found that one. I guess we'll go back and do that. That's the one of them I've actually found, so... No drone bugs for you, it always worked fine. Mine crashed. I saw it crash on Nathan, Nathan Province on his, and then it crashed for me three times. That was Sonoran. I gotta go back to Sonoran. I think we can use some other random truck. Let's just... We'll grab a couple of smaller ones. We'll use the pug. I don't think these matter, but we'll just do it anyways. I guess we can trade with drones. Um, we'll grab one of the smaller trucks just in case we need a bed. Let's do the warthog. And then the force, because that has the radar unit, just in case we need that. Oh, actually, this one's got the bed, so let's do... That. And the last one. Since the last update, drone not crashed on you. Yeah, it hasn't crashed on me since the last update either. Um, let's go... Because it looks like... Oh, that might... I think the mission's right over here. Actually, let me check one more time. Let's put the Yar to this outpost. And while it's loading here, I'm going to quick check. Um, yeah, it's basically straight south of the volcano. It's about right here. Somewhere in there. All right. So this will be the last task on here. What does that put us at? Uh, all, all expeditions complete, all contracts, all tasks. That'll be the last upgrade as well. Wait, is that right? That looks like 100 out of 101. So yeah, we're missing two things, a task and an upgrade. Okay, then we're on to... Uh, we have to go back to Carpathians for one... That one fish mission and a one upgrade I think I have to hunt down. We're 99% and 99%, guys. I think I'll probably try and find out which upgrade it is, and then we'll... We'll grab that one, and... I'll do the fish mission after, probably. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what the time comes to, but... Actually, I'm kind of curious to see if it is that field of view thing, so if it is... Maybe I'll just make that... I'll, I'll just record it afterwards and then make it into a, a tutorial on how to get that freaking mission to work. Even though there's probably already some of them out there. Vigo Carpathian agrees. Lessons, what's for dinner tonight? Eesh. I've kind of gone down from this 
this uh, outpost so many times that I have like a nice path all the way down to this area. Should just be up here to the right somewhere. Luckily, I remember to outfit my vehicles. Usually, when I do this, I'm like, oh, you know, kind of in a hurry, and I just throw random stuff on. I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to put, you know, upgrades on my trucks. Ground beef and shells, various veggies, so that sounds good. So it's uh, sort of like a taco. Not quite, but sort of. Alright, so this part is all new territory. I've never been back here. And it should be right over here somewhere. Oh. I don't see any yellow around here, though. Kind of looking around. It's somewhere in here. Actually, you know what? Oh, there it is. I was just, just about to say, you know what? I'm going to throw up a drone and see if I can find it. Here it is. There we go, OHS2 tires, follow. Gotta go here and here, pretty close. Hey, welcome back, Chan. Any thoughts on the future of Mudrunner games? Um, I think it's it's probably the most up in the air now that it's ever been with the sale of Saber, but I feel like the SnowRunner series was pretty successful and they would be smart to make another one. I, I would say even the Mudrunner series was pretty successful. This one seems like it was kind of a, a missed, missed opportunity, I guess. But, I think, uh, stone sculpture? Yeah, I think the future is still bright, Chan. I think there's a lot of... Okay, let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit. Oh, there we go. I think they'll still make another game, Chan. I don't think this will be the end of it. But, yeah, usually when you, when companies acquire other companies, it's, you know, cost-cutting measures and whatever, so you never really know. Or at least that's what it seems like. It's like cost-cutting measures, or it's like big investments into certain things. So it's like maybe they'll, they'll cost-cut in some areas where they don't need as many people or something, and then invest heavily into something else. I don't know. But, yeah, I think... I think there'll be a SnowRunner 2. Hopefully they, they learn from some of the mistakes made in other games and what uh, maybe actually listen to the, the, the viewers for once, the player base. Oh no, we're going... Oh, no, we're not going all the way down. How do I have engine at this point? Come on.
Come on. Wait, what happened to Saber? Uh, they were sold. Uh, Embracer Group, the, the parent company of Saber, sold Saber to somewhere else. I don't remember who bought them, but yeah, Embracer Group is the so the parent company, the owner of Saber, and they sold them. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's uh, like I said, it's kind of the most up in the air I think it's been for a while. More stone sculptures. There we go. OHS tires. I think that's 100% here. Yes, it is. Arizona's 100%. Let's go back and get those stupid fishes. Uh, don't think it'll sell much, but got a loyal player base so far. Yeah. Um, Mountain Labyrinth. The more you know, Chan, right? Oh yeah, Focus Home was just a publisher. Yeah, so Saber... Saber has been sold. I always forget which trucks I need for this even though I've done it a bunch of times. I keep using the same ones. Actually, no, let's use the... Oops. Take that off. Let's go back to the R again. Okay. Good question. What's for dinner tonight? I don't know what's for dinner. Does anybody else know what's for dinner? Actually, let's take that off. I want to leave one space. I know Lesson said he's having beef with shells and various veggies. Anybody else? Alright, let's deploy. We gotta put at least one truck over here. I think let's do... Oops. Let's do the Warthog maybe over there. I think that should be good. Yeah, so Embracer Group, the parent company for Focus, or uh, Saber Interactive, sorry, not Focus, um, has sold um, they sold Saber. So, yeah, it could go anyway. I, I don't I think they would like scrap the series or anything, but it is, you know, it's possible. Poutine. Oh boy, you guys are gonna, you guys are probably gonna be mad at me. I don't remember what poutine is. It's, what is it, potatoes with like cheese or something on top? I can't remember. Kevin, you're gonna, you're gonna have to explain to me what poutine is again, which is sad. I've asked, I think this is the third time I've had to ask because I keep forgetting. Uh, doing good, Brandon. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, Brandon. Actually, let's change my field of view. They said this might have to be under 100. Oh my god, that's so close. So let's see if we can finally get those darn fishes. So if anybody doesn't know, we've tried to do this mission about 15 times. And for some reason this one is just not working for us. There's some fish you have to scan in the water, and for me it just has not worked. No problem at all, it's fries and gravy. Okay, that's what it was, gravy. I know it's fries and something on top, I just can never remember what it was. And then you said beaver tails. I've never had that, that sounds interesting. Do the people actually eat beaver tail? Like is that, is that a normal thing? I've never heard of that before. That's why I'm asking. 
Um, and iced caps. What is iced caps? I feel like I should know that too. Hi, JJ. Just got in from the doctor. How, how'd that go, Snake? Hopefully, all good news, right? Whoa. Yikes. Kevin says, I've watched every stream you haven't tried hard enough yet. Uh, Brandon's having spaghetti for dinner. Nice, I had spaghetti last night. And you're doing good, thanks for asking. Glad to hear it. Yeah, this is super close now. I played like the entire game with it really far back. Now this is crazy close. If this doesn't work, I think I'm gonna quit out and then join back and maybe it, like, maybe with the settings, like that way at the start of the mission, you know? See if that might maybe play a role. Beaver tail is a deep fried pastry? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about legit beaver tail. I'm like, that is interesting. I've never heard of that. Is that something people normally eat? I wouldn't know. Uh, sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon on it. Okay. Oh, see, now you can see the fish. You're right. These fish were, you couldn't see them before. They were just black. Yeah, see, they're lighting up now. Okay, so let's go, let's get that one and that one. Oh no, this guy. Sad. Well, at least they scan now. This is gonna be kind of tough actually. There's so many fish you gotta get in. Oh, that was too close. Maybe it's just a waiting game to see how long until they swim into all these circles. It looks like you need six fish, which is all of them. This is the first time trying, don't believe his stories. So yeah, there's two of them way out here we still gotta get. Okay, I wonder if there will ever be a Mudrunner type game made by an indie dev. That would be nice. So yeah, it seems like once one fish comes in, the other one leaves. We can't get all of them in at the right spot. The right time. What if he drops top right, like right here by this fish? Ah, darn it. Thought I had it that time. See, that's, I'm trying to get them as close as I can without, like, overlapping too much. There we go. That's, like, perfect. Now I just got to get, when one fish dry, like goes out, like, stray, like, this one way over here, we got to get him with that last scan or this one.
There we go, got them all. Finally. That only took about two weeks worth of trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Okay. Um, now we gotta go way up here, drop off a medio station. Do we have one? We do. Uh, somebody asked Parkinson's where are you from? He is from Ontario. Congratulations, thank you. Uh, who was it that said the field of view has to, was that you Zeb? That the, the third person field of view has to be under 100. Because I tried the first person view, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I'm not in first person, so that would make sense. But whoever had the suggestion of third person view under 100, you were correct. Now we get to go do this mission for like the 14th time. Great stream maintenance. I've had a pretty poor connection today, guys. There was a storm here earlier. So, sorry if the connection's kind of bad. It seems like it's fine now. Or at least the, uh... The storm isn't here is what I mean, but... Connection doesn't seem to be good still. He did, yes. Thank you, Zeb. He saved me. You and Robert with the, uh... Assists with the pictures on the Discord with where to where to scan the fish, and then the actual field of view is the one that was the killer. Speaking of Robert, how's that like button looking? We doing all right so far? Oh, steam maintenance. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can't read sometimes. I, I kind of look over quick and my mind makes up stuff. Um, like it, it kind of connects the dots if I look at it quick. It's like, oh, he said, as an example, somebody said that was the, that was one of the greatest editors What'd they say? That was one of the ideas of all time. That's what they said. Ideas of all time. And I, my mind put in that was one of the best ideas of all time. They're like, I didn't say best. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess my mind came to conclusions because I wouldn't say that was one of the ideas of all time. That doesn't make sense in my head. So my mind kind of connects the dots if it's missing, missing stuff. Or in this case, it didn't have an R. It just thought it was talking about stream, not steam. You don't see how I read as much as I do. I try. I try very hard. I try and read all the comments. I know I, I certainly miss some when the, when the streams are busier, but I, I do my best. I'm actually kind of lucky that in this game it's sort of slow-paced. Same with SnowRunner. It's where you actually can read the chat. Whereas some other games, if you're like, I don't know, say playing a racing game or something where your reaction time's got to be so fast, like you're just going to be crashing constantly. That'd be so tough to stream. You pretty much have to ignore your stream. Like, to, to get to the... Wait, I'm not even tracking the expedition, am I? Oh, I did... F did I do free roam? I think I might have done free roam, guys. I didn't accept the, the, con or the expedition for this. Are you serious? What if I just drop off a Meteo Point right there? Oh my gosh. I got so used to doing free roam, I think I didn't do the, the actual expedition. God dang it. Overall picture. Text to voice is an option, yeah. Okay, so let's do the Meteo Station here. I think that's all we need, really. We'll just buy extras anyways. I can't believe I did that. I don't understand that, JJ. I thought all paths on the mission would be the same for everyone. 
I'm not sure what you mean on there, uh, Robert. 32 likes, 21, or 31 watching. Thank you. I can't believe I did that. I didn't start the actual expedition. I just free roamed it. Oh boy. Actually, I think we can use something like the, the Lodestar, maybe. We'll throw in one more small vehicle, maybe the... Marshall? You do a great job reading comments. Thank you, Eagle. Appreciate that. Okay, we gotta put the Marshall in this one. The rest should be good. You said loaf wrong? Nah, screw the loaf. I still can't believe I just did that. I literally like started the mission without actually starting the mission. Alright, let's try and get out of here. It's telling me I don't have exactly what I need. If I remember right, I need a camera trap for one of these two. I don't remember which one. And then I need a medio station to the top right and a scan to the bottom. Why can't they just add expeditions vehicles into SnowRunner to make the trucks work like this? Are you talking about like the the way that they drive, how everything is like kind of smooth and sort of not fishtaily, like when you go fast and snow on your vehicle starts to slip all around, sort of. And first time. That's why we grabbed extras. Oh, come on. Yeah, the vehicles in your drive, very nice. I like it. Yes, the way they drive. I feel like I'm making a mistake riding around the edge down here. I'm just gonna go up. It's all just one setting, I'm sure. Tank says, I'm thinking about getting an $80 truck for ATS. But it comes with three trailers, two custom semi-yards, a rim pack, should I buy it? Is that like a mod? $80 is crazy expensive. It must be one person's work and they're trying to trying to sell it, right? Like trying to get money for their work out of the mod, I'm guessing. Okay, start scanning. There's one. Two. Oh, come on. Three. That's done. Go take a photo over here. Yeah, it's just a mod, but they have a bunch of people working on it. That makes sense. Go for it, Tink. We need cool pictures. I mean, $80 seems pretty expensive to me. I wouldn't personally get it, but I know you play a lot of ATS. That's more up your, uh, up your alley than mine, so... It's something you're into. Maybe let's, let's pull the rest of the chat, so... I would say no, personally. Zing says yes. We need pictures. Um... What do we got? Robert, Snake, uh, Zeb, Kevin. Who else is here? That might be it. Eagle. What do you guys think? $80 for, what do you say? Three custom trailers, 
a new truck, two custom semi-yards in American Truck Simulator. For me, the price is too steep. That's what it is. ATS is American Truck Simulator. It's basically a, a semi-truck driving game. If you had said like 20 bucks, I probably would have said, yeah, go for it. But 80 bucks seems really steep. Zeb says no. Ian says no. Oh, Ian's still here. Robert also says no. Seems high for Snake as well. That's what I'm thinking. It's It seems very steep for a price. Okay. Uh, no. Ooh. Oh, I, I grabbed three small vehicles. I didn't even know that. Okay. I mean, ATS isn't a sub-based game. Buy once and never pay again. That's true. Uh, except for DLC. So if you want to drop some money on some cool stuff once in a while, you aren't hurting cash IRL. That's true. Yeah, if you're not hurting on cash IRL. To me, the price just seems steep, is all. Well, it's not just for the truck, it's a pack with those trailers. Costs about 65 in total. Plus a few more goodies. Yeah, it's your call. Totally your call. If you want it, don't let us sway you to not get it. If you don't want it, don't let us sway you into getting it, is what I would say. But, yeah, personally for me, I think that's that's too high, but that's uh, to each their own, right? But like Zing said, if you do get it, you're going to have to send us some pictures on Discord because that's probably going to be a pretty cool looking truck, trailers, area, all that, all that good stuff. Some devs are getting greedy, says Snake. $109 for the Star Wars game coming out? Jeez. Oh, that's that's the one uh, Bad Boy Gamer was talking about a couple weeks back. I forget the name now. <coughs> I forget the name, what it is now, but yeah. Or you sent it to us on Discord if you want to check it out. All right. I gotta go eat as soon as I'm done with this because I'm being told it's time to eat right now. But I'm gonna try and finish this one because it's been like 15 tries. I want to figure it out. You made Zeb curious. Zeb was gonna take a look. switch back our FOV as soon as we uh, get to this zone. It's funny because there's a little bridge right there, but that bridge is so worthless. The path getting to that is so hard, it's not even worth going to. Most of the bridges in this game are really useful. That one is just not useful. It's just too hard to... Actually, what is this? Is this an airdrop? Nice, okay. That one's just too hard to get to, it's like no point in even trying. You're better off taking the longer route using the, the path that I just took. Geez, steam is still down. You want your snowrunner fix. Alright. 
let's switch the field of view here. Hang on one second. Settings, video, third person. Let's go to 99, see if that works. Oh, yep, okay. Okay, we did that. That. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I've missed one? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we got them pretty close. We just gotta get this one last fish in there. We gotta get them all to get in there at the same time. Actually, maybe this one I could put further up. It looks like I probably should. It looks like this fish is going in there, though. Hmm. This might be kind of annoying, actually, to try and to time it out. Worst missions ever. Like Zingseg, unneeded mini games like this. I don't have an ATS channel. I thought I did. I'll have to do that as well. Okay, let's try this again. One there. One there. I don't know if I can get that one. There, perfect, got them all. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I thought I made one uh, tank baby. I guess I'll have to do that. They even had a 3D artist custom make everything in 4K. That's pretty cool. Just post them in random places for funsies, yeah. Just throw them wherever you want for now because there's no spot for them. There are mini games in this? Yeah, there's a couple of them. Um, so there's... Well, actually, I think it, it might just be the slider in the... They have a slider for, like... Well, I guess there's the, the picture mini game. The... There's, like, a slider mini game for, like, taking pictures as well. Um, and then there's the fish one. There's kind of... The metal detecting one's kind of the same as the fish. It's basically find stuff in the water. Um, is that it? I think there might just be three. So there's two different camera ones. The one is like you have to point it at the right, the right object, and then get the right zoom and the right aperture. I think is the. I don't know my my terminology quite that well, but yeah, you have to get the right right thing on two different things, and then once you get the the right spot and those two things correct, you can take a picture. Then there's another one that like, there's a little bar that slides back and forth and you have to select it when it gets inside certain boxes. And then the third one is the one that you just saw with like having to select fish inside a zone. There's also ones with like metal and stuff in the same zone. Wait, do I have a camera trap on here? I don't have any... Okay, I'll have to drone drop it, I guess. This one looks like it's the closest one. I was going to go to the left, but... I think it's the middle one, if I remember right. Unless it changes, I think it's the middle one. Could be random.
Come on. Okay, not that one. Worse than SnowRunner Contest, yeah. Especially when you don't know what you're doing wrong, you have to try it 15 times because the game doesn't like like your field of view for some reason. So that, that one gray zone, that one that we just did with the fish, I've probably done that one 15 times now. Because apparently my field of view is too too large, and it wouldn't detect the fish when I would scan them. So yeah, that was fun. You would rather repeat the cab contest in SnowRunner than that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dino Footprints. Those are kind of the same, yeah. That's that's the circle ones as well. Where you have to, like, find dinosaur footprints. They're, like, little... They're hard to... F mo I mean, some of them are easy to find because they're, like, right in front of you, but other ones are, like... Where the heck are these footprints? You're looking all over the place. All right, so we got to put a camera trap on this. Last time this made my game really, really slow, so I don't know if it'll do that again. Okay, let's do... Um, we got a drone drop it because we don't have it. Modules, cargo drone. Uh, camera trap, deliver. Oh, okay, that worked, I guess, so never mind. Last time it went to a little cutscene. Okay, last thing here. Let's do the AFIM. Trying to take a picture of obscure things. Yeah, like, look at the river. It's like the river goes, like, all over the place over here. Where, which, what part of the river do you want me to look at? Yeah, the minigames can be kind of annoying. I actually took a screenshot of the one because it was... It, it took me like 15 minutes to find this little metal piece in the water. And I had to scan... The, the circles I had to scan with were like one-tenth of the circle that you just... You saw with the fish there. They were super tiny circles. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to take forever. And it did. I like basically had to... Squint... Uh, split the lake into like little squares and just go through it square by square dropping the little circles sort of uh, narrowing it down piece by piece it was it was pretty brutal one was a picture of, oh, of a lake which turned out to be a mountain peak Another one I had trouble with was, a. Uh, it was asking me to take a picture of a big tree. And for some reason it wasn't working on the tree. You had to, like, let's say this was the tree right here, right? Instead of looking at the tree, you had to, like, look off over here. Like, off on the side of the tree, like, basically into the air between the leaves. Or the, the pine needles or whatever. So I kept getting, I, I tried that one a few times. I was like, what the heck, why isn't this one working? is because you didn't actually have to look at the tree, you had to look off the tree. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty annoying one. Alright, this... <coughs> This should be it, guys. This is going to be the last thing that we do. I still have to find one upgrade, I believe, after this. So I think I missed one upgrade here, which is a uh, kind of a oh, kind of a bummer. But yeah, all, all I'll do is just search through the vehicles like I did earlier, find out which vehicle's missing an upgrade, which upgrade it is, check out the 3D map snow render, find out where it is, and go and pick it up because it's definitely one I left on the map somewhere. Because I'm done with every other thing except for this expedition. So, yeah, I just missed one somewhere on the map. I probably drove past it, but since it's, in this game, it, it, 
counts it as like the area you drive past doesn't necessarily mean you've discovered everything in the area. So I could have drove right past it, not seen it, and then it, it shows up on the map as like I've drove, you know, discovered the area. But even if you discovered the area, you might not have discovered the upgrade, so I don't know which one I missed. So yeah, we'll have to go do that. I'll probably do that off stream after this. I'll go upstairs and eat and then go back and do that. But yeah, that'll be it, 100%. Back to Amir SnowRunner Tomorrow hard mode with no chains, trying to get the rocket delivered. Good fun. Good spot to go back to. Pretty rough spot. And uh, Zing here is actually streaming Season 10 hard mode on Friday night after I'm done streaming. So if you guys are interested in seeing Zing play some Season 10 hard mode, he's going to be starting his Season 10 on Friday night. Like, basically a half hour from now on Friday night is when he's going to start streaming. I saw he made a set up his stream earlier, so a little zing plug. Deliver supplies. There we go. Yay, Euro trip. Completed every single expedition in the game. 48,000 for that one as well. Okay, let's go to the headquarters. Actually, I should have stayed there for one second. Okay, I'm going to back out. Let's load into the game and see what it says. 88%? How is that even possible? Do you not know math? Sorry, I bumped my mic there again. Uh, let's just quickly free roam. I don't care what vehicle. We're just going to jump into a map. Oops. Deploy. Then we have to watch it backwards. You have to watch the video from the end to the beginning. Slowly hitting rewind. Okay, profile. So yes, 37 out of 37, 38 out of 38, 27 out of 27. It looks like 101 out of 102. We're missing one upgrade. And then 203 out of 204. So this is done, 214, 101, 35, 41, 37. We have one thing left to do, which is one upgrade that we missed. So I have no idea where the upgrade is, but through process of elimination after this, we will find it. Find, find out which one it is, and then find out the upgrade. So 52, oh, right there, KRS Bandit. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the, yeah, emergency reserves large for the Bandit, okay. Bandit and also the ANK, I think it was. Yep. All right, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're into SnowRunner and want to check out our stream tomorrow, Almost, yeah. We got to 99.99%, basically. Uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out the Snowrunner stream tomorrow, we'll be playing Amir hard mode and delivering the rocket. So I'll catch you all then. Have a good rest of your night or day for uh, the Australians in the chat or anybody else. But yeah, thank you guys. Have a good night and see you.